All right, number two on my list is the Big Ten. And I think this is also pretty clear. Um, it's not just because they're each going to get a, a buttload of money in their next uh, rights deal, but it's also because they're really good at the top end. If you just go through the criteria, how good and how deep is your top end? Well, they've got three really good top 10 level teams. And by the way, they all rest in one side of the division. It makes that division, I think, the, the toughest division in college football. You might disagree, but you know, you can make the argument, certainly. Uh, with Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State in that Big Ten East, that is a ridiculously tough division. Those three teams are really good this year. We saw Michigan win the Big Ten and go to the playoff a year ago. We know that Ohio State plays at a really high level. They were in the national championship just a couple of years ago. And Penn State has recruited at a really high level. And I tell you, that's a really good team. Can't wait to see them this week in the big house. Just to give you some sense, I talked about the 65 draft picks that the SEC had last year in the NFL draft. Uh, the Big Ten was second on that list with 48 uh, draft picks. The top end, though, they, they have one of those teams that could at least claim that they recruit and play at the same level as potentially the Alabamas and the Georgias, the only ones, and the Clemsons, the only one that has gone up there and actually played at that level. They beat Alabama on, on en route to their last national championship. They beat Clemson in the playoff a couple of years ago. You know, Ohio State is certainly at the top end, certainly at the top end. Then we saw Michigan last year, and granted, Michigan was not in the same class as Georgia, but no no one was, if we're really honest with ourselves. Georgia was in a totally different class uh, by themselves. So they've got these top-end teams, and I think that that's important. And then the second, how competitive and deep is your middle? I would make the argument, and this is where some people disagree, but I would make the argument that the middle of the Big Ten is as competitive and, and deep as any conference out there. And the evidence bears that out. So in particular, last year, 2021, Michigan State was an 11-win team. Kenneth Walker was fantastic at, at running back. Mel Tucker got a 10-year, $95 million extension because Michigan State was so good. Um, Nebraska barely retained their coach who they've since fired and they were, what were they? A three win team, three and what were they? Three and nine. I think they were three and nine. And in that game at Michigan state, Nebraska held the Spartans to zero first downs in the second half. So to me, that means that like, the difference between the 11 win team and the three win team was not that far. So the competitive balance in that side, and maybe even in particular in that West side of the conference is, is really good. Some people nationally like to downplay that and, and talk about why, Hey, the West is why the big 10 is no good. Well, I actually disagree with that. I think that it, it reminds me a lot of what the Big 12 race is right now, which is any team can win it. Right now, Illinois is the top team on the West side, and they've got the best scoring defense in the country. Iowa, we've seen them win that conference, or at least that side of the division. We've seen Wisconsin do it. We've seen Northwestern do it. It's, it's a tough side of the conference. Minnesota is primed to potentially make a run even after they lost their one game in that. I think the competitive balance in the Big Ten in the middle is really strong. And then the last thing, what are your brands doing and are they carrying the flag? I don't think that you can point to a year in which the three biggest brands in the Big Ten have done more, at least up to this point. All three of them in the top 10, all three of them undefeated, and certainly primed to make a run. Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. Two of those will be in the big house with Gus, Ginny, and I on the call on Saturday on Fox. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.